Hello my dear subscriber, my name is Alexander Naumchuk and I welcome you to my channel Urologist Naumchuk. Today we're going to talk about the reasons for a poor sperm analysis. Uh, I'm going to tell you the main causes of a poor sperm analysis and then you can draw your own conclusions and decide what to do about it. The first and main cause of a poor sperm analysis is hormonal regulation disorders. In other words, uh, anything related to hormones. This includes low testosterone, disruptions in FSH follicle stimulating hormone and LH luteinizing hormone as well as all the hormones produced by the thyroid gland. The second cause is um, hidden or inadequately treated infection that is uh, transmitted sexually. Simply put, this is when you start treatment, all your symptoms seem to go away and you stop taking the medication. And there was no follow-up testing for um, prevention either. That's why it's called an inadequately treated infection of the genitourinary system. The third factor indicating a poor sperm analysis is intoxication of your body. This includes alcohol, drugs, prolonged use of antibacterial medications and strong antibiotics, exposure to heavy metal salts, and excessive consumption of carbohydrates. Athletes often encounter this problem. Another reason for a poor uh, sperm analysis is improper preparation for the test itself. Now I will tell you how to prepare for this. First, you need to abstain from sexual activity for three to four days. That means no sex, no masturbation, and no oral sex. For four days, you simply exclude all of this from your life. And only then do you go to take the sperm analysis. Second, it is preferable to avoid alcohol for seven to 10 days. Third, avoid baths, saunas, and steam rooms for five days. Fourth, do not urinate for two to three hours before taking the test. This is the proper way to prepare for a sperm analysis. Another reason for um, a poor sperm analysis result can be genetic factors and abnormalities in genetic chromosomes. In that case, uh, the results can also be poor. You can also perform a, a culture test of the sperm sample, which will show what pathogen or infectious factor may be present in the ejaculate itself. And in addition to that, an antibiogram can be done to determine which antibiotic can treat this infection. That's all from me. If you need a consultation, you can use the link below. It will be in the description. We will definitely provide you with a consultation. So bye-bye for now. Have a good evening. Goodbye.